Welcome back to this channel. Watch to the end for channel shout out. The clothes are here. Okay, ma'am. No problem. $80,000 is a small money and don't forget that you are going with me. Chief Johnson, one of the few billionaires in this country today. That's all right. I will get the check ready. You can come to my office later today. But remember, I want the car delivered lastest by the weekend. Good. Good morning, sir. Who is this? He is the new tailor I told you about. He has come to take your measurements. I see. Hope he is not a fanatic like the former one. No, I have already investigated him. He is not, or are you? No, sir. I am not born again at all. Good. You can go on with the measurements, but be very fast about it because I have no time to waste. Yes, sir. Be fast. I am set, sir. What's that book for? Sir, it is my record book. I want to record your measurements in it, sir. My measurements? Yes, sir. In that dirty book, isn't that the same book you use for your numerous customers and the original people in the town? By the way, is the tape rule in your hands a new one? No, no, sir. I am a VIP, meaning very important person. Did you tell him? I am sorry, Chief. I forgot to tell him. Look, Chief, like to be treated specially. You have to get a brand new tape rule and a special exercise book for his measurements. Is that taken? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Yes, who are you? I said who are you? What do you want? The owner of this birthright is honestly prayer. I have come to take it to him. You, I won't allow you to carry it. Why not? Why won't you allow it? My stomach is hurting. Here, I brought your medicine. Please take it. Yes, I am coming. Where is your husband? He is inside. Please come in. Tell him to see me outside. Sorry, landlord. He is sick. Please come inside. So you want to pretend that you are sick? I have not come to argue with you. I am not here to fight you. You should to start packing your load. I give you from now till 6 p.m. in the evening today. To move out of this place, I've got another tenant. In fact, I have decided to forget the 14 months house rent you are owing me. Just pack your things out of my house. Landlord, please we are sorry. Nonsense. Please sir, we will pay. I don't care. Sir, why? Why what? You want to tell me that you are not owing so much for electricity? We know, please we are still making efforts to gather the money to settle our debt. Really? Yes sir, we will pay. Well, I think my boss will like to hear what you just told me. You can come to the office to see him, but for now I must do my job. Hey, why this? I told you to get the Lexus car already. Sorry sir, Daniel used it to take Kevin to school. And what happened to Kevin's Mercedes Benz? We just discovered that it has a flat tire this morning flat tire and it can't be replaced kevin was already getting late to school and kevin could not pick one of the other cars in the garage well the two of you are to blame sorry sir my dear can't you see the pastor on how they can assist us the pastor has already done so much for us it was two days ago he gave me money for your medical test in the hospital we took i must confess i feel very reluctant to see him again you know we are not the only members of the church why are you back home early? Our teacher sent me out of the class. Why? Because I have not paid my school fees. Honey. Yes, dear. I am going out now. Okay. Don't stay long. Oh no. Why is he coming today? Honey. Brother Richard is outside. If he asks of me, tell him I am not around. Okay. Good day, Ma. I am looking for pasta. Didn't you see him on your way out? No. He just left for Lagos. Will he be back today? No, I think sometimes next week, he went to buy more goods for his store, any problem? No, thank you. Madam, can you assist me with a loan till next week? I don't think so, I don't have much in me, in fact I don't know how I will manage the little money my husband sent me before he returns, I am really sorry. It's okay, please greet him when he returns. Okay. I don't know what is wrong with this man. He doesn't have anything else to say more than begging and borrowing. Sweetheart, instead of hiding in your own house, why don't you tell him once and for all that you don't like being bothered? Come to think of it, why does he disturb you every time? At least there are other members of the church. I wonder. To be frank my king, I feel like asking you to cancel the fundraising ceremony and leave the palace building ceremony to me alone. Sir, 
I see it as a good opportunity to appreciate all what your royal highness has done for me, well that's true, she is fine. I will, thank you my king, bye. What is it this time, brother Richard? I hope you have not come to bother me with your usual preaching. I have already told you that I don't have any business with Jesus, leave me alone. Chief Peter. And I hope you have not come to beg for money. You see, I have a problem with my landlord. Look, if you have come to beg for money, you have to take your leave right away. I have always told you, instead of begging around and turning yourself into a nuisance, why don't you learn how to be a responsible man? If your present job doesn't pay you why don't you get another one? Look at us now, no one will believe that you are my elder brother, you look so thin. Famished and unkept, and before you pull out a Bible and begin to preach, I must confess, you are an example of what Christianity makes out of people. And I pray may I never be one, look you have to take your leave right away, I am getting irritated. Thank you. Get out. Nonsense. Thank you sir. I am sorry, I don't have much on me, please manage the little I have. Pastor, this is not little, this will settle 10 out of my 14 months house rent, thank you sir. No problem. Please sir, don't be offended with my regular call for help, I am still trusting God for a better job. Brother Richard, I told you I can't be offended, after all I know what you are passing through and I am sure God will give you a breakthrough at the end. Amen, thank you sir. You haven't told me about the outcome of the medical test you got. I was about to mention that sir, the doctor asked me to come for the result tomorrow morning. That's all right, in any case I hope the pains has reduced. Sir, the pains nearly killed me this morning, I am only praying for a miracle. And the miracle will come in Jesus' name. Amen, thank you sir. This is the house rent sir. For how many months? For 10 months sir. And how many months are you owing me? For 14 months sir. Please have mercy on me, please look at my condition, I am pregnant, please sir. What are we going to do? He gave us till Saturday to pay the balance, I believe God can do anything before the weekends. My dear, I am thinking of going to the village. What for? To see my mother, she may be able to assist us with some money, with that we can settle our house rent, pay Teresa's school fees. But we are yet to pay the loan we took from her. No problem, I will beg her, I am sure mummy will understand. How do we get your transport fee? I am thinking of selling my clothes. Which cloth? We have sold virtually everything you have. I still have the one I wore during our engagement ceremony. But that is the only good cloth you have left. I don't mind selling it, my dear don't worry, I know everything will be okay. Julia Richard, you are indeed the will of God for my life. I thank God for you. God, who will believe I have a master's degree? Who will believe that I am a graduate? You said in your word that young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that trust in you will not lack anything good, Father, I don't trust anyone but you, yet I am surfering, I have become an object of reproach. For how long will I surfer? For how long? Lord for how long? Hey, I have told you, don't touch it. But this is his birthright and he is honestly praying for it, let him carry it home. No I won't allow you. I sent for the both of you. Do you know that the same evil that befell the Mia village will befall our village very soon? What? Evil? I am sure you have heard that the northern people does not worship their gods again. They now worship another idol called Jesus, and I am also sure that their king also changed the name of their village to Jesus City. Yes, Elder. Do you know what actually brought about this changes? Elder, the whole thing happened when some Jesus people from the city came to visit MIA village. Have you heard that the same Jesus people want to visit El our village? Our gods will not allow them to come. In fact our village head will not grant them permission to enter this village. What are you saying? One of them sneaked into this village last week, he discussed with the elders and the elders granted them permission to visit us. Precisely a day before West Market Day, that is tomorrow. We will not agree, it is impossible. As the chief priest of this village, I warned the elders against this decision but he insisted that their visit will not do us any harm. You think I am a fool, I am not a fool at all, and don't forget I am not begging you to give me money, I am just asking for the share of the deal we did together. No Mr. Dorian, I did not say I won't give you your money, I only told you to come back next week. Really, come back next week, after I have traveled all the way from my hometown to this place just because of this money. I should come back again next week. 
Look, I know how to handle people like you. Don't be surprised if you see your name in the national magazine. Because I am going to open my mouth wide and let the whole world know your dirty secrets, this may interest you. I am going to let the whole world know how you and I mastermind the assassination of Chief Johnson. You can't be serious. I can't be serious. Wait until you see the next day of National Magazine. You will know whether I am serious or not. Look, Mr. Dorian, don't forget that we are in this dirty business together and if you speak to the press, your own name will be spoilt in this country. And you will be in trouble with the police. My goodness, who told you that I have a name to protect? What makes you think that I fear the police? I don't mind facing the military force. But I will make sure I reduce you to nothing in this country. I am not here for nonsense, nonsense chief. Mr. Dorian. We have to make Elder know that a tree cannot make a forest. He has no rights to accept what the villagers suggest. That's true. I have something to say. You know the king's son is my close friend. Which king? The king of Mia. I know. What? He once told me that since the Jesus people visited the north, things just turned around for them. You see what I mean? Things will also turn around in this village if these people visit us, evil will come to this village. No elder, things turned around for good and not for evil, I learned that rain started falling regularly in Mia village, their crops started growing. Sickness and sudden death became a thing of the past and their fight ended, elder, life became peaceful for them. I think that was why their king changed their name to Jesus City. I want to suggest that we should also cooperate with the elders in allowing the Jesus people to come to this village, their visit will do us good. Have you finished? Yes sir. You are a bastard and you have been bewitched. Just imagine, how can you the son of the former chief priest of this land say this kind of nonsense? Do you even realize that the spirit of your late father is presently cursing you in the grave because of what you have just said? I was only trying to. Keep shut. Wise lady, he knows so much about me, he could be very dangerous, I want him killed. Chief, you already know that killing people is my own area of specialization, do you have his picture? No I don't. No problem. Look inside the fire, I want you to imagine his face in it. That's great, the man's name is Dorian, he lives in Hidtown. How did you know? He is even married with three children, yes, he is not born again, this makes the work possible and fast, now tell me, how do you want him to die? I want him to die in an accident on his way going back to Hidtown. When is he traveling? He cannot travel today because he left my office late this evening, I guess he will be leaving tomorrow morning. No problem. Chief, Dorian is already marked for death in a car accident, he will not escape it even if he doesn't get out of the house tomorrow. A vehicle is going to leave the road, go into the house and crash him dead. Thank you wise lady, thank you, but wise lady, there would be some other passengers in the vehicle, what will happen to these people? They will also be part of the accident, if they don't die, they will be seriously injured, what is your business with the other passengers? In as much as your desire comes to pass with your enemy. Elder, I don't understand what we are doing here. Now, I have burnt the charm, their vehicle will have an accident at this point, it will fall into the river, except they don't enter this village using this road. And I wonder which other way they will pass through without passing over this bridge. The Bible says the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God the pulling down of strongholds. For this reason I command that all demonic strongholds on our way to the village be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Divine Lord, I thank you for answering this prayers, in Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. My beloved brethren, I have a witness in my heart that the same Almighty God that used you to capture the people of Mia village for Jesus will grant you the divine backing to capture Vil Village for him in Jesus' name. Amen. Vil Village. For Jesus. Vil Village. For Jesus. I bid you farewell as you go do the work of Jesus. <laughs> Brother Richard, what are you doing in this car park? Are you traveling? No sir, actually, it is my wife that is traveling to Hidtown. What a coincidence, I am also traveling to Hidtown. I will be ministering at a seven days revival starting tonight. But sir, why are you not going in your car? The youth went to Ville Village today. Oh, they went with your car? Yes, the bus could not contain all of them. Okay sir, bye for now sir. Bye. Good afternoon sir. 
Oh dear Lord, I thank you for this journey which I am about to start, I ask for your blood for my protection. I command that every demonic plan concerning this journey be destroyed in Jesus' name, Amen. There is an anointed child of God in this vehicle, he has prayed concerning this journey, I have been specially dispatched from heaven to protect him. So, take your leave right now. I can't leave, because there is an anointed child of the Satan in this vehicle, he has been marked for death. And I have been specially dispatched from the kingdom of darkness to ensure that he dies through a bloody and tragic accident. So leave me alone, let me do my work. You have a point there but you can't ignore the fact that there is an anointed child of God in this vehicle, this child of God. This vehicle and all the other passengers there have automatically got blood insurance. Blood insurance. Which blood? The blood of Jesus Christ. I will leave, I will leave. And in the book of Romans 5 verse 8, the Bible says while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, from this you can understand that the love God has for the world is very great. So sorry, you don't have manners. Sir, I didn't mean to offend you but if I have, please forgive me. Stop the car, I am no longer going with you people, I can't stand that man, just imagine the vehicle is yet to full and he is just disturbing me with his religion stuff. Please sir don't be angry. Excuse me sir, what happened? I don't understand too. I am waiting for the next stop. I have a heavy burden in my spirit that we should plead the blood of Jesus as we approach this village. Brother David, why don't we stop and pray for a while? You that is a good idea, please drive can you park. Oh brother Richard, you are still around. Yes sir, I just want to greet you since my wife's bus is yet full up. Your wife is traveling in a bus, but that won't be comfortable for her, she is pregnant, please tell her to come to this place, I will pay for her transport fee. Okay sir. Sir, I don't want my wife to go with this bus. I am not going to refund the money. My dear don't worry, I will be fine, I will manage. No, I want you to come with me. Okay. Elder, something terrible has happened. Some strangers were coming, they had an accident close to the bridge, you should see how blood covered the water, they said they were coming from Midtown. Hmm. Some villagers are there trying to help them. Cancer. Yes. Cancer of the pancreas. Doctor, you mean I have cancer in my body? Yes, I'm afraid. It is terminal in nature. That means it is most likely going to result in death. In your case you have a maximum of one year to live. The best form of treatment you can undergo is surgery. It will cost you several thousands of dollars. I am sorry I don't know the exact cost but I will confirm. And I must add, this surgery is no means guarantee that you will live longer than a year. It will only reduce the pains you often experience. Mr. Richard, I have personally seen some incurable diseases healed miraculously if you are a Christian, and I believe in miracles, why don't you pray for one? God, your word says by your stripes I am healed but why am I still sick? Why? Father Lord heal me, please heal me, Lord heal me. His divine healing is attached to his birthright, let me carry it to him. No, I won't allow you. Elder, it has happened. The accident, right? I didn't know you have heard, it's terrible. In fact, I'm on my way to see things myself. I didn't know you heard, Elder, I am sorry. What are you sorry for? We want our enemies to die and they are dead, what else? But Elder, I thought you said you have heard about the accident. Yes, a woman gave me the news not too long ago. And she didn't tell you that it was Flex that died in the accident. Which Flex? Your son, he was coming from Midtown with his wife and two children, when his car ran into the river, he died immediately with his wife and two children. It was only the driver that survived the accident. What? No no, this can't be happening, no. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, in all the earth how excellent is your name. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, in all the earth how excellent is your name. My name is Victor, I am the chief priest of Vil Shrine. I have come to tell you that you are not welcomed in this village at all. So pack all your things and get out of the village immediately. Sir, we met the village head before coming to this village, he granted us permission to come. In fact we went to greet him immediately we arrived the day before yesterday, and he said he is happy to have us around. Really, if the head of the village is happy to have you around, I wish to let you know that me, the ancestral god of this village is not happy with you at all. In fact, he is very very angry with you and when Victor is angry like this, usually different diseases, affliction, fire and thunder comes. 
If you value your life and you don't want any disease to come upon you, I advise you to pack all your things and get out of this village immediately. Well sir, there is no cause for alarm, you see the Bible says God is with us and nobody can be against us. Really, don't worry we shall see, and you what is your name? I am David. You shall see. Who can this be again? Hello? Yes, Mrs. Dorian, how are you? Good, what do you mean? He was here two days ago. I attended to him promptly. I gave him the money he came for, in fact I paid him cash, after which he told me that he is going back immediately. I am surprised that he has not gone back to Hidtown since, well I am not sure, it's alright, just remain calm, I believe everything will be alright. Please tell him to call me as soon as he arrives in Hidtown, good, thank you. Chief, what's it? I am feeling hot internally. Should I call the doctor? Yes, be quick, I am dying. Good morning landlord. By this time of the day. I mean, good afternoon sir. I hope you are here with the complete balance of your house rent. That is why I am here landlord, my wife came back from Hidtown very late in the night yesterday, she was able to come with some money. My intention was to come and pay the balance but... So you are not here with the balance? Sir, my wife went into labor during the night, I had to rush her to the hospital, so I was forced to use the money to make a deposit for her treatment, please sir, be patient with me. Really, so you couldn't beg the doctors in the hospital to be patient with you, I am the one you have come to beg, look, tomorrow is Saturday. If you don't balance my money by then, you will pack out of my house. It's 3 o'clock now, what should I do? Doctor, his eyes are open and I am sure he can hear us but why is he not talking? Madam, as you know Chief is a hypertensive patient. He is currently manifesting early signs of stroke which normally results from severe high blood pressure. This has affected a part of his brain responsible for speech control. In any case, I think we should be happy that he has not lost the use of his legs and arms. Well madam, everything will be okay, there is nothing to worry about. Mr. Richard, your wife has been in labor for more than 24 hours now, she is already exhausted and the baby inside her too is in distress. Moreover, there are some other medical complications that will make it impossible for her to deliver the baby virginally, so we need to carry out a cesarean section on her immediately. Here take this, that is the list of some of the items we need for the surgery, you have to buy them right away and please make arrangements to settle the old bills. She has already spent a night here, excuse me. I am sorry I almost forgot. The doctor said your wife will need a surgery blood transfusion. She is in the O negative blood group, so you have to get a donor whose blood is compatible with hers. You have to buy blood from the blood bank and this is the charges for the operation. You have to pay at least two sum of total amount before we can do anything on her. Peter, you are now a candidate of the lastest topic in Hellfire because you died without having the full requirements and qualifications for heaven. Requirements. Which requirements? I am a rich man, I have 25 different banks account in different countries of the world. I hold more than 50 traditional chief titles, I have companies, industries, house and many other things, which requirements are you talking about? Again except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God, were you born again before you died? No, I wasn't. Mr. Peter, you have proven to be a foolish rich man because you were stupid enough to die without being born again, go to hell. No, no. No, no. Chief, what is it? Grave images, Calabasha death, this is a dangerous ritual. This is the same one we used to kill several people including Don, the former headhunter. Who is that unfortunate victim this time? David, the leader of the Jesus people, he has put his hands in the mouth of a cobra and he cannot escape death. Elder, something has happened. And what is it? You know Mark, the first son of the village head, I mean the deaf and dumb and paralyzed one. I know him. You know all the powerful herbalists in Ville Village and the neighboring village including you have tried to cure the boy, but despite all his condition has not improved. It cannot improve, more powerful forces that can never be appeased are responsible for his condition, he can never improve. Elder, that was what you made the whole village to believe then, but can you believe this? What is that? The Jesus people went to the village head compound today and they prayed for the boy, Elder, Mark can now speak, he can now hear, come and see the boy jumping all over the place. 
It is just like a dream. I'm now convinced that their Jesus is really powerful. I want to suggest that we should leave them alone. You are mad. After all I have lost in my fight against those bastards, you are now saying that I should leave them alone. I am sorry Elder, I will be leaving now. David, David. Mr. Landlord, we are done bringing out their things. That's good. Your dad refused to pay his house rent. He ran away, now his things are out of the house. He can go and call the police to arrest me, nonsense. David, David, I command you with the name of the gods of Vil Village to drop dead now. David, I put you inside the calabash of death, you are gone and gone forever. I remove you from the every evil power, I set you free. What is the calabash of death doing in my house, what is this? Good day Elder, I have come to tell you that Jesus loves you. Everything about me is in a standstill, there is a multitude of people around me yet I am lonely and I am always battling with sadness. But I am a Christian, God can you be punishing me for a sin I committed? Let me know Lord, let me know my sin and I will beg for forgiveness. God have mercy on me. And when I opened it, this is what I found inside. I have used the same ritual on more than 30 people and none of them escaped death. This is a symbol of Jesus in the cross of Calvary, where he died for the sins of mankind, Elder this is calling your attention to an important decision which you need to make. Now I believe that your Jesus is truly powerful. Amen. I am ready to accept Jesus. Praise the Lord. He just woke up suddenly from his sleep, I thought he had a bad dream, he then requested for a piece of paper and a pen, look at what he wrote. I don't want to go to hell, I am ready to be born again but I don't know how to be born again, please send for brother Richard to come and teach me how to be born again. Who is this Richard? His elder brother. Well chief is only hallucinating. I am chief's brother. I know, so what do you want? I want to see him. He has instructed me not to all you to come into this compound again. He said you always come here to trouble him with your sermons. There is nothing to worry about. Please, my wife is in the hospital. She needs to undergo an operation. I need some money urgently. Please let me see him. Please. You want me to lose my job right? Thank you. The woman's condition is very serious. I suggest we start the operation immediately. Has the husband returned? What do we do? We can't start the operation without blood transfusion, otherwise we will be taking a big risk. So we have to wait for the husband to bring the money to buy blood. Firstly, has he signed the consent papers for us to go ahead with the operation? No doctor. So we can't possibly do anything, we have to wait until the husband comes. I want brother Richard to come and teach me how to be born again, invite him immediately, if you don't I will do something terrible. My dear, you really want to meet your brother. I will go and call him right away. Michael, do you know Mr. Richard? Yes, Chief's elder brother. You know where he lives? Yes, ma'am. Chief wants to see him urgently. Do pick any of the cars and bring him here immediately. Yes, ma'am. Problems, troubles, difficulty, disappointment, failures. I have never known peace. God, have mercy on me. Oh my goodness, boss's senior boy, I have killed him. So you were driving with your eyes closed? No sir, he just walked into the road. Really? And then you hit him? By the way where are you working? I am a driver, I work for Chief Peter. Good. I am going to lock you up in the station until Chief comes to bail you out. Sir please, Chief is seriously sick at home, in fact I was asked to bring his senior brother to the house, you won't believe it sir. This is the same person I was going to pick. He is Chief's senior brother. And now you have killed him. Richard, you are welcome to the realm of life after death. I congratulate you because you are qualified to enter heaven by virtue of your salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ. You will go to heaven where you will spend your eternity. Oh, holy angels, so I have died. Oh, thank you, Lord. I am finally free from pains and agony of life. Thank you, Lord. What do you mean, pains and agony of life? Yes, my life on earth was miserable, oh thank you Lord. Didn't you claim your birthright as a Christian? My birthright? Yes, your birthright as a child of God, this includes long life, divine healing, divine favor, promotion, prosperity, peace of mind, authority over demons and many others. I did not enjoy any of this, I lived in poverty, sickness, backwardness, sadness, failure, I suffered, I really suffered. Come with me, let us see what actually happens to your birthright. Mr. Richard, this is your birthright, you qualified for this, the very day you became born again 23 years ago. 
This is what you will enjoy as a child of God while on earth, why didn't you claim it before you died? Holy angels, Richard prayed for his birthright, in fact it was his constant prayers that brought me here. I got here 23 years ago when he first prayed for his birthright. And since then, I have been trying to carry his birthright but the spirit of hindrance will not allow me, I have been struggling with him for the past 23 years without any success. Okay, spirit of hindrance, why have you done this? I am only acting on the scriptures. In the book of Matthew 21 verse 6, the word of God says, Whatever you ask in prayers you will receive, if you have faith. Indeed, Richard has been asking for his birthright for a very long time, but he has never prayed in faith, he never believes what he prayed for. In fact most of the time, Richard did not actually pray, he merely complained to God. Now let me ask a question. Who are you? I am the spirit of complaints. You see, he sends complain here and complains is not qualified to carry his birthright, the only one who is qualified to carry his birthright faith. For without faith, it is impossible to please God and if you did not please God, how do you expect to receive from him? Richard, you did not receive your birthright because you did not take it with faith, it is so unfortunate. Faith, my birthright, faith, my birthright, faith, my birthright. Lord, I believe in you, I believe that you are more than able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I add or think. According to your power that worketh in me, I stand in authority as your child and by faith, I claim what rightly belongs to me in the name of Jesus. You spirit of hindrance that is standing in the way of my birthright, I command you get your hands off my birthright in Jesus' name. I receive my birthright by faith, I receive my birthright by faith, thank you Jesus. Faith, faith. Richard, has sent me here by his prayers and I have come to carry his birthright to him. Faith, you are the only one that is qualified to carry it. I dare not hinder you, please have your way. Chief asked me to sew a cloth material for him and I am still with it, I have come to give it back to him. Mr. Man, you will have to come back later, maybe tomorrow. Why, I promise that I will bring this job today, if I don't, Chief will be angry with me. Look, something bad has happened, Chief died this evening. Which Chief? The owner of this cloth? The person I saw five days ago? Yes. The person you saw five days ago died 30 minutes ago, everybody is crying inside the house now. Mr. Richard, you are just coming now? I am sorry, I went looking for help, then I got into an accident. How is my wife? Come with me. There she is. My dear. Sir eventually delivered the baby herself, no blood transfusion, no operation, the mother and the baby are in perfect condition. The Lord is good. Weeks later. After serious prayers, I went back to the doctor and I told him I believe I no longer have cancer in my body, the doctor looked at me as if I was out of my mind. But when I insisted, he had to carry out another round of tests on me, pastor, the doctor later confirmed it, he said I don't have any trace of cancer in my body anymore. God has healed me, pastor God has healed me. Glory be to God. Look at this, they are letter of appointments, I received the three of them this morning, the problem I now have is deciding which of the job offer I should accept. I fear this God, I fear him. Let us pray. I like your car sir. Thank you. Please don't forget what we discussed, you have to seek him first and all other things will be added unto you. Okay. Alright, bye for now. Thank you so much sir. I will find the time to come and know your new house, you said it is in GRA. Yes. Alright sir. Bye. Bye. Bye sir. Great your wife and the children for me. They will hear, thank you. Richard, just within a few months, how did it happen? In fact, that is the same question I was going to ask you, how did it happen? How did it happen? This is same question people will ask about you, that is when they come face to face with the unquestionable reality of the goodness of God in your life. Listen, if you are a child of God, in other words if you are born again, you are automatically qualified for so many wonderful benefits through Christ Jesus. This benefits are contained in your birthright as a Christian, but take notes, if you are not born again then you are not qualified at all to claim any birthright from God. I encourage you, consider your way, be born again today, for the sake of your life here on earth and in the years after. Meanwhile, if you are born again but you are not living a consistent life of holiness, then you have made yourself unfit, for the manifesting of the glory of God in your life. Dear, I encourage you, make your ways right with God and it shall be well with you, beloved child of God, I want to bring it to your notice. That God did not place you in this generation to be pitied, no, he created you to be envied but ignorance and lack of faith has turned your life into the valley of hopelessness. 
You have waited long enough in the wilderness of despondency, you have tarried long enough in the wilderness of mediocrity. I challenge you to rise up in faith today and walk out of failure, walk out of poverty, walk out of sicknesses and diseases. Walk out of fear and depression, walk into the perfect will of God in your life, my dear, this is the perfect time to pray but you must understand this. That the Lord you serve see you as, very very precious, that is to say that you are very precious to God, you are too important to be unimportant, you matter so much to God. You must matter in your generation, you have to live in dominion, meanwhile I encourage you and I challenge you, I charge you now. Rise up and let us pray, go ahead, claim your birthright by faith, claim it right now. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then you will be qualified to claim your birthright by faith. Today's channel shout out is to Lee Blake, Jeannie, Daphne, Joy, Roslyn and Charmaine from Jamaica. Kay and Ife Chukwudani from Nigeria. Lydia Julius, Sandra, Faith, Rona, Shola and Saru Agnes from Kenya. Rita from the India, Sharon from Dubai, Sandra Brown, Tracy, Jean, Eldika, Peace, Blessing, Pamela, Lorianne, Darlene and Rochelle from USA. Christy and Orient from Zambia. Leva and Rose from Trinidad and Tobago. Malachi and Maliki from St. Kitts. Beverly from Canada. Monica, Isaac and Namara from Uganda. Praising, Alice, Elias and Cindy from South Africa. Salome and Zuleika from Saudi Arabia. Anna from Philippines. Bernard and Happiness from Italy. Mandy from RSA. Adlin from Granada. Rika Harris from Bahamas. Drop your name and where you are watching from in the comment section to get a shout out from this channel. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be notified when another video is being posted.